Didn't know humans could be such pests? <laughs> Where is the princess? Mm. Humans are more tasty when angry, and I haven't eaten in a while. <laughs> Animusha Warlords was originally released almost 18 years ago on the PS2. Originally planned for release on the PS1, the developers thought it would be best if they developed the title for the more powerful PS2. According to reports, the PlayStation 1 version was 50% complete before it was completely scrapped. The IP was planned as a trilogy, and players take on the role of Samanosuke Akechi in Animusha Warlords with the game set in the Sengoku period. The game turned out to be a fantastic hack-and-slash experience with addictive combat and a story that was surprisingly interesting. Well, besides the cringeworthy voice acting. Didn't know humans could be such pests! <laughs> the original Animusha turned out to be a commercial and critical success. This was followed by Genma Animusha, a port of the game for the original Xbox. This version featured better graphics, new areas, 5.1 Dolby digital audio, and a host of other changes and new inclusions. So after several years of absence, the series is finally back, albeit in the form of a remaster. The remastered version of the game is now available on the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, PC, and Nintendo Switch. And it seems like the developers are testing the waters for a potential sequel and more remasters if this performs well for them. What the future holds for the franchise remains to be seen, but what kind of improvements does this remaster bring over the original PlayStation 2 version? Let's get into it. We tested the game on the PS4 Pro, Xbox One X, and PC versions, and the game largely seems to showcase minor improvements along with a solid boost to resolution. Character models have seen the biggest improvements, with character armor and facial textures now possessing clearly defined details. This improvement in detail is also visible on the various enemies which now showcase better polygonal detail than their original counterparts. Furthermore, environmental detail like doors, architectures, and individual objects have also given a boost in texture filtering. Other improvements include better particle and post-processing effects, along with sharper-looking cutscenes. On the performance front, all versions run at a rock-solid 60 frames per second. We notice next to no frame rate drops on any of the three versions we analyzed. This immediately gives the remastered version a noticeable advantage over its PS2 counterpart. Unfortunately, not everything here has been optimized for current generation hardware. Besides the shoddy voice acting and lip syncing issue, the pre-rendered backgrounds haven't been given a boost in quality. This results in shoddy background textures which doesn't gel well with the rest of the improvements found in the game. So overall, the remastered version of Animusha Warlords presents some decent improvements over the PS2 version. However, across all the three versions that we tested, there isn't anything special about this package. On the PC front, the game requires an Intel Core i7-3770 3.4 GHz or AMD equivalent or better, 8 GB of memory, which by the way is surprising, and NVIDIA GeForce GTX 960. We tested this game on our test PC, which includes a GTX 1080 Ti, 16GB of GDDR4 memory, and Ryzen 1700 CPU. Unfortunately, the PC version doesn't include any graphical setting whatsoever. Besides the resolution, there is no way to improve various graphical parameters like level of detail, texture quality, or anti-aliasing. The PC version feels like a bare-bones remaster, and seems like a missed opportunity for the developers. The PS4 Pro and Xbox One X versions don't have any graphical modes, and neither are there any noticeable differences between them to speak of. We are not even sure if the game has PS4 Pro and Xbox One X support at the time of writing this analysis. So, across all the three versions, there are hardly any differences, but these shortcomings are understandable given the age of the game. As I mentioned earlier, this remastered version feels like a testing ground for the developers to potentially fund the next big Animusha game. There is a renewed interest in samurai games with the success of 2017's Neo and upcoming games like Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice, Ghost of Tsushima, and Neo 2. We are fully expecting remasters of Animusha 2, 3, and Dawn of Dreams in the future. This way, this way sir. If our princess is at the keep, there are two ways to get there. The western path, or the northern passage. Kaede, I'll go north. You follow them through the other way. Understand. Huh? 
Princess Yuki! Princess Yuki, your highness. Samanosuke, it's really you. Oh, I knew that you would come to save me. I have missed you so much since you left the castle. <laughs> Flee while you can, you worthless bug! 